So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlock specifically. We're going to be looking at the Dark Age armor. So if you guys don't know, I've already reviewed the armor. I've already done the shader video and I've already done the videos for the Titans and the Hunters. They're both right here. You guys can definitely check them out. I am really proud of these videos. These are usually the videos that I really enjoy making just because A, the review videos, I give my personal thoughts, opinions, and I show you how it looks, how it shaders and all that stuff. The shader videos is literally me go through all my shaders and I have a lot of shaders in the game and just showing you how it all shaders. And then for the individual sets, obviously that's kind of self-explanatory. I make individual sets for all of the armor set armor pieces. So for example, if you really like the helmet, I have a whole set revolving around the arms. I will say that there's some that I combine two pieces just because I want to make it fair to the Warlocks and Titans because most of the time I can't make a whole set with just a class item for those two. Sometimes I can for the Titans, not so much for the Warlocks. Warlocks, it's super duper rare. And then for the Hunters, I can do like almost all the time just because the cloak is such a vital aspect to the Hunter compared to like the Warlocks or the Titans. So that's why I started combining two pieces to make it fair across everyone. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I do apologize for those who know my content, but I do want to just explain it so that way if new people are watching the content, they know they at least know what to expect. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Hit the bell notification to keep up with my content. I really do think my content is worth that. So other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet dark age visor for the arms, Ophidian aspect with the coiled lasso ornament for the chest piece street scholar robes for the boots hold fast boots and then for the mark we're going to be using Os the oswari bond oswari oswari either way we're going to be using that bond i love this bond this bond quickly became one of my favorite bonds and for the shader canis coat so for my my, my initial like thought process for this one was i kind of want to go for just like a regular warlock like kind of like a like a bounty hunter type thing just because that helmet really gives me that bounty hunter vibe and immediately get my head went to street scholar robes i think that one's going to be the best one for a bounty hunter look and then everything kind of started coming into pieces so the hold fast boots immediately came after that then the ophidian aspect one and then the oswari bond as well so nothing too crazy to talk about because this one literally is just my bounty hunter for a warlock and i think it looks really really cool as for the next set we're going to be utilizing the dark age gloves and leg braces so both of those i actually think this came out really really good so like let's talk about it insight victi hood specifically because it looks really good with the mantle of battle harmony uh just because of the like the the hoops not hoops but like the i'm gonna call them hoops because that's what they kind of remind me of the hoops in the in the chess piece have the same thing as the like hoop in the head so that's why i really did that for the arms and the boots specifically the arms i wanted to combine it with this because the arms take the off color of arm or shaders so that's why i was like i'll combine it with the mantle of battle harmony because the mantle has a lot of red with the carbon blood obviously but it has a lot of that same color so i wanted to combine it with that for the boots i just wanted something that looked bigger and looked closer to the arms because the arms have fur and the boots as well so i kind of wanted to just combine those two to keep like a like a central theme for the bond we're using this fetish bond i mean to be fair you can really use anything but i wanted to use this fetish bond because it does have this almost the same texture as the chest plate so that's why i use that so i definitely think this looks way cool also i've had the also i have done a mantle of battle harmony video if you guys don't know I'll post it right now um same thing we do in it, almost every other exotic video. We look at how it looks, how it shaders, and my personal thoughts, and then we make individual sets for that. So for Mantle of Battle Harmony, I made an individual set for the base look of it and the, the ornament for it as well. If it doesn't have an ornament, I usually just make two sets so that way people or exotics that don't have an, exo an ornament yet, I, they at least get two armor sets. So... This one is super dope. I actually really like this one a lot, so much so that I will have this in the back pocket. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're gonna be using the chest piece, the Dark Age Overcoat, and I decided to go for a tactical look for this one just because I wanted to. There's really no like rhyme to it. It's just, I was like, I looked at the chest piece and I was like, I wanna combine it with Reign of Fire. I don't know why, but I just wanted to do that. So for the helmet, Hardened Basilisk head pieces we're using, I just think that looks, this looks super cool. For the arms, we're going to be using Cunning of the Contender Gloves. I love that one. And then for the bond, we're going to be using Dark Age Bond. So 
a few things to note here you could use the aswari set for the arms i think that would have been a little bit better that being said the bones don't change color so that's why i was like i don't want to use that for the hardened basilisk honestly i just wanted a helmet that had a glow because the dark age bond has glow and i wanted to keep that glow which is why i also use cunning cunning of the contender gloves because it does have glow in there as well but honestly i would just tell you to switch the, the gloves out for something else again the aswari set is going to be really cool but another tactical set would have been cool as well for the shadering gambit siladin is what we're using because i love the fact that gavin siladin not only has uh camouflage coloring in there but the glow is actually orange so that's why i did that and then last but not least we're going to be using the dark age leg braces just the just the boots because i really really like the boots a lot so for the helmet we're going to be using astrocyte verse for the chest piece light kin robes in combination with the kristen cream gloves and then obviously the dark age leg braces like i mentioned and then for the bond the worm guard bond i think this one looks really cool so for the shader in dreaming spectrum this is just one of my favorite shaders in the game and it goes really well with dreaming spe or with uh astrocyte verse so this one honestly there's not really much of a theme to this one it's just it looks cool and sometimes rule of cool is just what i need so i don't really have anything to explain about this one just the fact that if you really want to combine it with other pieces the christian cream gloves is probably going to be the best piece to to like swap out i do think the dark age arms are going to be way cool with this one but there's a lot of pieces you can combine it with not only that there's other exotics you can use as well for the arms if you want to switch them out again there's a lot of things you can do this with, with this one this one's very flex so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys uh, like i said in the hunter and titan video i am working on a lot of content currently just uh i'm tired guys i'm tired but i do this because i really enjoy the craft of just making armor sets i think it's really really cool so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys be safe i will see you guys later